All right, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's get going. Uh, again, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, Joseph, Nick, really, really awesome to uh, to host you guys here. I'm so hi, I'm Nick. I'm agency owner in Illinois, so just happy to be here. We've uh, hit Inner Circle uh, for all the years that they had that, and then Pinnacle once, and then on a tiebreaker went to National Conference. So I will not see you in Hawaii because Illinois took a retention hit, which is kind of lame. But hey, happens. Don't tell me about your Hawaii plan. And ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that don't know who I am, uh, my name is Joseph Puckett. I'm co-founder of Craig Wiggins Coaching. I started a scratch all-state agency back in 2009, really at the height of the financial crisis. I was in banking at the time. And when everybody was, not everybody, but when tons of people were turning in the keys to their cars, turning in the keys to their home, y'all remember that? right? Thousands of businesses closed. Millions of people came unemployed. Our bank took TARP funds. I got really, really uh, crushed comp wise at the bank. I was like, I got to get out of here. And I knew a friend that owned an insurance agency. And I said, Hey, Rusty, man, how's this recession treating you? You know, you know, cause guys, we've gone through a really tough time the past three years, right? With the, the pandemic, and it's just been a really insane couple of years, uh, very similar to the great recession, right? The economy shut down for months. It was, it was crazy. Well, I asked Rusty, I said, man, how's the recession treating your business? It's getting kind of crazy over here at the bank. He literally said, what recession? I was like, the recession that's going on right now. They're literally calling it great. It's the great recession. He's like, man, people have to have insurance. I was like, really? That's when I updated my resume for the first time in four years. And the same man that hired Craig Wiggins to be an Allstate agent in 1996 hired me to start my agency in 2009. Uh, then about two years later, sold my little scratch agency and jumped onto Craig Wiggins uh, bandwagon because I knew I could go much further with him. Helped him grow his agency. At that time, he was at $10 million in premium. We grew to about $40 million in premium over the next 11, 10, 11 years. And he sold his agencies last year to focus 100% of his time and attention on coaching. Uh, we grew to $40 million. We work with 1,500 agencies all across the country, over 9,000 users in our program. And we help agents like Nick and their team uh, write more and more new business regardless of price. So that's me in a nutshell. That's a very short nutshell, a small nutshell of me. I'm so excited. If I can ever help you on any way, I'll, I'll text out my email address. You can email me. If you have questions about how CWC can help you or your, your agency, or if you're struggling with something, feel free to reach out to me. I know this business can be very lonely sometimes. I know that. I know it can be very lonely, especially now that all the carriers are canceling a lot of the events. They're not doing a lot of things. It's really hard for agents to kind of connect. If I can ever help you in any way, or if you just need a connection with somebody, reach out to me. It's joseph at craigwigginscoaching.com. But that's a little bit about me. I can pass it back to Ray. And it looks like we got Robert back, dude. Robert, you were frozen like this. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. Really no, of, weird. Course, of course, of course, in the in the least flattering way. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I think my wife I just got out like right with the introduction, of course, uh, timing wise. But yeah, Nick, Nick, go ahead. Uh, go, go ahead with your intro. Yeah, no, I already said some of it, so we'll keep it a little short. But I do want to reference that I've never been able to make an Austin Powers reference, but I'm going to now. This is Joe in a nutshell. Oh, how did I get in this <laughs> nutshell? At any rate, if you haven't seen it, go watch the first Austin Powers. Great movie. This is me in a nutshell. Help! I'm in a nutshell. How did I get into this nutshell? Look at the size of this bloody great big nutshell. What sort of shell has a nut like this? I mean, this is crazy. Um, so I was a, uh, started off as an intern with Allstate uh, back in 2011. Uh, got into the first leadership development program that they have, or LDP or whatever it was called. So I think I was actually the first hire that they made. Came up, did my three years, realized all the money was in sales. Went to be a sales leader in Maryland. Um, was started off as an agency process specialist. Did that for about a year and a half. Uh, and then got promoted and was actually the youngest sales leader in the country that also had at the time, which was kind of fun because I told I wasn't qualified for the job and would never get it. And so why, why am I even trying? So that was fun. Um, made a whole career on that. Uh, got smart, realized when they made a bunch of changes that, hey, the, you know, times to start to go. If, I, if I'm going to start an agency, it's going to be now or uh, never. I did the last agency development bonus class, so March of 2017. Um, decided that it was a good time. Now, by the way, so similar to where you are now, and Joe, similar to what you were saying, I was at the bottom of the trough. They had just taken a rate increase a week before my agency started. So it was about as bad a comp competitive position it could be. But the cool thing is we learned how to grind in that area. And then when it got easier, we just started writing a lot more. So we were used to just a certain amount of work ethic. And then all of a sudden it just started pouring out. That's the message I'm giving to my team right now, by the way. 
which is, hey, I'm going to make sure your income stays at least flat, hopefully increases during this time where we have these increased rates and it's harder to close business so that when things do lighten up or when State Farm, Farmers, Geico, all of them take their rate increases, you employ that same amount of work ethic, your income is going to skyrocket up. So that's pretty much what we're going to in the message that we are. And Joe, great message about, I mean, especially with um, mental health and all the things going on, um, that's the part I'm trying to keep everybody focused. Um, I've started introducing a health and wellness coach to my team. Um, so we found somebody locally who can help with that kind of stuff, but just to kind of talk through those things and, you know, make sure that they're being their best. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to pivot right here because you guys wanted me to talk about my first impression of Canopy and that's why you're here is more here about that. Um, my very first impression of it when I looked at it, so the idea that you can have a little magic trick, and that's exactly how we call it, is a magic trick, uh, to be able to get your dec page, declaration pages pushed over to us. Uh, I think the, forgive me if I'm wrong, it was anywhere from like 1000 to $1,200 for the year. It was somewhere around there, right? Yep. Correct me, somewhere. You guys can say, do you want to say the actual price so I'm not misquoting it so people can actually Yeah, no, uh, we started at $100 a month, so that's for a monthly plan, yeah. Perfect. And I did the annual and I think you guys give a discount for that, right? Or yep, yep, yep. Perfect. So we did the annual um, because I said, hey, we're going to try it. Let's go. Let's just try it. So we'll just pay for the whole year as we see how it goes. It was more or less the idea that if I could sell, I think it was like three, maybe four more deals because of it. Total. Four deals in the entire year because I was able to get their deck pages and see what they actually had paid for itself. So that was my first impression. I was like, the math just seems to work here. Like I just even if I'm wrong, I mean, I can't be that wrong. It's only, I only got to close four deals out of it. So even if people don't want to do it, can I, can I honestly see four deals closing of this? Yeah, probably. So that became a no brainer that I was like, we're just going to try it. Cause yeah, I mean, guys, the math, especially with the new business comp and the way that it is, it's, there's no way you can fail at it. Um, it's pretty user friendly. It's actually not that hard. Um, the, the interface is actually pretty nice and it pushes over everything easy. Like I, I don't want to like sound like I'm super talking up. I don't want to feel like I'm over delivering, but like it's not that hard to learn. And the cool thing is like I have all of my staff have set up on their own links and their own situation. Um, the first impression I had, if, if any of you guys had this or if you're not a part of it, was figuring out that like you had to change who gets access when somebody fills out a link. So that so that like my whole team, if Tyler on my team sends out his link that the whole team isn't getting notified. It's an easy fix. I didn't even have to go on support for that. It kind of it's kind of self-explanatory on it. So um, I want to. I guess I want to keep it mostly on that. But yeah, I mean, I I do know with uh, Craig Wiggins coaching, that's a that's another part of it. Not being afraid of the price and not being a afraid to talk about value and talk about like, listen, Mr. Customer, like I'm not always going to be less is probably the biggest impact that I've gotten out of the CWC platform and what they do is getting to be able to coach my staff and to, to work with them on the idea that, yeah, sometimes we're less and sometimes we're not, and it's fine. Um, let me talk to you about some quality. Let me talk to you about increasing it. Even if you don't want to go with them, Mr. Crash, I'll be the first person to tell you what an actual quote looks like and what an actual coverage should be like. That's some of the benefit and the confidence that you get on CWC, that they're not going to advertise that we sell confidence, but quite frankly, that's what they're there for. Help you be confident in a difficult market to make sure that you're selling on value and making long-term customers out of people. So. Amazing, Nick. Yeah, no, that, that, that's that's great. And I think, uh, Joseph, I'd love to like go in uh, to that a little bit more later. Uh, but I think, uh, Nick, a quick question to, uh, to kind of close it off. Like, uh, we get a lot of like agents uh, that are probably going to be on this call. Uh, and the, the, the question we always get is like, you know, how, how do people react when you actually say, hey, I'm going to send you the Canopy link to, to get that information, right? Um, right. Yeah. Any, any objections? Do you see people having those online accounts? Like, what's the, what's the experience there? So the biggest... Um... The biggest thing is how you present it. So yep. um, I pretty much get, so I, there's actually a, a question literally just popped up from Mark is like, how, what percentage of people do actually enter the carrier's information? For when I do it, darn near 100%. Like, because I'm just going to be like, hey, um, I've got this magic trick. Let me send it to you. That's literally how I phrase it. If I say, hi, I've got this website where you can enter your, into your credentials and it'll push over your declaration page. Yeah, they're not going to do it. But if you no. frame it in such a way that it's not a big deal, so it's like, hey, we kind of kind of got a new uh, magic trick, and, and that's the best way to describe it, Mr. Customer. I'm just saying this link real quick. And so I'm I'm a big hearsay user. It's funny we were just on a on a call with the with the not NAB but the regional advisory boards, whatever they're calling it now. Um, 
And it was like, there's a strong, strong correlation to people who use texting a lot and through hearsay and the number of sales they get. I, it's hundred percent true. And so for us, um, we're always opting people in the text message and I'll just send them on the phone. Like, Hey, I'm going to send you a text real quick. Just hit yes. Okay, cool. Hey, now you've done that. I'm going to send you this link. It's a magic trick. Take your carrier, do your login. It'll push your deck page over to us. And then we'll be able to see exactly what you have so that I'm not quoting you $600 collision deductible and you've got a $1,500 one. I just want to make sure that, you know, at least we have that conversation. Um, I think one of the biggest complaints that we get, um, well, I'll get into the, for the customers, but like, it's not so that we can just sell you apple to apple. It just allows me to see what you actually have. So that's yeah. in no way, like, because I could see somebody saying like, oh, well, there seems to be a conflict or like, I'm not trying to sell them 100, 300. I'm trying to sell them 250, 500 and a pub and go through the whole CWC process. You could still do that. It's yeah. just, now you know the deductibles. Now you know the actual coverage. It's like, hey, you know how you said you got water backup? I see your home. You do not have water backup right now. And now yeah. I still think you should have it, but I just want to be clear. You don't have it. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I think that that's, I think that that's the big part where uh, you're, you're getting in like an actual... An, an actual overview of the situation, right? Not not uh, whatever somebody thinks they have. Uh, you guys can actually uh, see what they have. So I think that that's uh, and 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 that's why I'm excited about this webinar because it's going to be all about like how do you actually pitch canopy so that's uh, like people actually uh, actually feel comfortable using it. So uh, re really excited yeah. to kind of dive in there. And it's actually funny. So there's another question about like having an Hispanic. I have two Spanish producers. I have two Spanish customer service. I can't learn Spanish to save my life. I wish I could. I'd make a lot more money. Um, we literally made a template of text messages. So not just for Canopy, but we made a text message for every text that we have. We um, translate it to Spanish as well. And there's a template that my staff is expected because there's certain things like, hey, let me send you the Canopy link. That's pretty, pretty much everybody should be sending the same text message. And it's, so it's top, it's already in an Excel. Um, yeah. Joe, I yeah. can send this to you afterwards if you want. It's, it's not proprietary. Um, but if people want to like send those text messages, um, we we also translated it to Spanish for that as well. So we do that too. And by the way, another nice. place that we can have on here is I ask them if they have their login before I just send it to them. There's a lot of people saying, yes, please send it. Yeah, of course, you guys will send it. Um, but yeah, there's, um, I ask them if they know their login first. If they're like, no, I, I, I have no idea what my logins are or, or my wife handles that. Sidebar, if your wife handles this, all right, can you throw her this link? And have her log in just cool. because hey you're talking to me mr customer but throw these to her so she can fill them out so. uh, that's that's amazing nick so i think and one 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 thing that i uh forgot to mention but you're calling the magic trick we have a lot of agents calling it like the easy button it's kind of like the same concept right it's like hey yeah. this is just the, the easiest way for me to get it info and i if you have if you i have found people, really good success with magic trick but it's amazing. whatever fits your Love own that. syntax and how you talk I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the chat blow up here with everybody wants to see your templates. So if you can just send them to us, they will, we'll follow up with the webinar attendees here uh, with, with, with those templates. Uh, one thing I can show you guys in a second as well is like with Canopy, you can actually customize each link. So if you have Spanish producers, you can have the, the text there be in Spanish as well. So the whole experience is going to be uh, like, uh, like bilingual as well. So uh, we, we can dive into that. Uh, Joseph, really quickly on, uh, on you, uh, would love to also hear a bit on, on your background, like uh, with uh, with Craig Wiggins. Uh, so yeah, t tell us a little bit about what you guys do and, and how you guys make agents like like Nick successful. Yeah, so I did a little introduction earlier, but I just wanted to show, you know, the platform and now I need to read make my script. So thanks, Nick. Uh, so I have a script for Canopy as well that we've been using, but I like it, man. I'm gonna steal the magic trick or the easy button. Uh, but this is our platform at WigginsUniversity.com. You can learn more about our programs at CraigWigginsCoaching.com. I would highly recommend that y'all check out CraigWigginsCoaching.com. I just wanted to show you just around, around our platform. What we do is we have over 1500 agencies over 9,000 uh, 9, users on our platform. And we have all of these courses around sales, 22 courses on sales, 13 courses on service, 15 courses on life and retirement. Every single live event webinar we've ever done, we have courses just for owners and managers on staffing, hiring, creating compensation plans, leads and marketing. I could go on and on and on, but I'm not. I'm not. You can learn more at craigwigginscoaching.com. But I wanted to highlight our document section real quick and our script. So for CWC users, CWC users, you'll see a new script. 
you'll see a new script within the CDBC script. So we have all these files over 100 documents and processes. Team members or staff will only see this folder. They won't see the owner's manager's folder, which has, you know, example compensation plans, handbooks, HR related stuff. Staff won't see that. They'll just see this. The very first document of the 82 files is our CDBC scripts. And notice we also have our CWC scripts in Espanol. So I can say in Espanol, but that's it. That's all I can say. So I, I paid really good uh, um, people to translate uh, our scripts. But if I pull up our CWC scripts here, you'll see these. this is just a kind of a sampling of what we teach and have on the platform. Basically how to work every lead, how to do the most important parts of our sales process, like building rapport and leading with liability, how to explain the umbrella and assume the close, asking for referrals. We don't have time to get in all that. But let me scroll down to page 19 because you wanted to see our scripts and top paths that we use. I had Kevin Spam, who is a mega agency owner uh, in uh, New York. He is who got me onto Canopy. He got me onto Canopy. He told me all about Canopy. I was like, dude, what is this? How have I been in this business for 13 years? Never knew something like this existed. I'm not sure how long y'all y'all have been open. But the, the link, y'all, if you're not using Canopy, use the CWC link. What's really cool is, is there's a two-week free trial and a $50 discount off the first month. If you go to usecanopy.com slash CWC, um, so I'll extend that to you guys. Just explaining what Canopy is, but then here we have our top path. Nick, will you just be my customer in the role play? Just be, you'll, you'll literally just say yes or no, right? But just be yeah. my customer. It's weird to role yeah. play with myself. Uh, hey, Nick, so man, I'm really excited to be able to help you today with your insurance. And you know, I want to make this really easy. I want to make this really easy on us. Let me ask you, man, do you access your current insurance policies online? Is that something like you can log in and like see your own policies and stuff with, yeah, I got say you're with Geico? Oh, you do? Yeah, I got to log in. That's awesome. Okay, here's the deal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little magic trick. What'd you say? Magic trick? I need, yeah, to, I need trick, to change man. it here. I'm, I'm going to do a little magic trick. We're going to hit the easy button. What we're going to do is we're going to make this process a little bit quicker. I'm going to send you this little link that will allow you to go ahead, just log in. And within a matter of seconds after you log in to view your policies, uh, I'll have all of your information. That'll just make things a lot quicker. So let me go ahead and text this to you now. I'm going to go ahead and text this to you now. So I've already got you up to the end of hearsay. Hearsay texting. Did, you, did it come through, Mr. Nick? Strongly recommend you guys text it, not email it. It's so much faster response if you text it. Yes. Yes. Yep. Got it, Nick. Got the text. Mm-hmm. Yep, okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, man, go ahead and just pick your carrier. Let's go ahead and scroll down and select Geico. See, I'm kind of walking him through it. Okay, perfect. Now you got to just enter your ID and password. You got that entered? Yep. Excellent. Nick, within a matter of seconds, I'm going to have all of your policy documents, everything that we need to go through and make sure that I give you the best coverages, the appropriate deductibles, and every single discount possible, Nick. I'm going to pile on the discounts, but taking a look at what you currently have will just help make sure that I'm filling any gaps that might exist to make sure that we're on the same page. So we're all set, man. I got them. I got your documents. We're good to go. Y'all, what this does is it dramatically speeds up the process. Now, here's something else. I wanted to point this out here I have on our script. Guys, ladies, gentlemen, this is not just about finding how much they pay. Y'all, it is not about price when somebody needs their insurance. It's not about price. I promise you, your customer's not going to cause a four-car pileup or have a claim at their home or, God forbid, a, a death in the family. They're not going to call the agency to file that claim and say, hey, how much is my premium? Nope. They're going to say, this is what happened. Am I covered? Are they covered? So this isn't about finding about their price. What it does is it saves us a lot of time. Within 20 seconds, we can have all of their information right in front of us and we can exploit those coverage gaps. Like Nick was saying, if they think they have a coverage, but don't, you can say, well, no, ma'am, I'm sorry. Maybe they have a crazy high deductible on their home. Maybe they're in a wind hail area. You guys are in an area that has a lot of wind hail, tornadoes, hurricanes, and they've got a 5% We've had a dozen deductible. times where they're like, oh, I've got a $1,000 deductible. We get it. It's like, um, you have a four thousand dollar deductible on wind and hail boom sure. that's what this is about y'all it's about making it easy now here's something else here's something else it's not just about verifying their coverages deductibles discounts and etc uh, but sometimes companies don't report information so like triple a y'all is a customer of canopy triple a the different states or regions or whatever they don't even talk to each other because triple a doesn't report to our carrier database where it pulls information i just thought that was so cute when you guys said that when we were on your webinar uh so this is the use canopy.com slash cwc 
use canopy.com slash CWC. This is where you can get the special deal uh, for being on today's uh, call. But if you scroll all the way down, you'll see the webinar that we did with uh, Kevin Spam uh, a couple months ago. Dude, when you said that that um, that Triple A is actually a subscriber of y'all's because they don't even talk to each other, that was awesome. So that's another cool thing about Canopy is it can be super duper helpful if you're having to like declare and prove their prior insurance. But ladies and gentlemen, this is just one very small tidbit of what you get with Craig Wiggins Coaching. I'm not going to make a big long pitch. Check us out. Guys, I, I, I watched the webinar. I watched the webinar last time. I while I was doing the dishes, and again, just sitting there doing the math, I was like, I mean, I. No brainer. Three, three or four deals. I mean, like I, I have to imagine three or four deals would close because of this. Yes, sir. Nice. So that's yeah. my spiel, Robert. I'll pass it back to you, my man. No, that's good. That's good. No, this is uh, this is great. I love that. So, so I want to introduce another talk path on there since he was talking about some of those, like since we were just going on talk paths. Another great place to use this. And tell me you've gotten this objection before, because again, for the 288 of you who are still here, we're going to make this really jam packed, I think, with uh, good talk paths. I don't know what I have right now. I don't know my coverage. I have no idea what I have. Great. Hey, cool. I got a little magic trick. Let me send it over to you. Let's see what we can do. Let me pull it. Or how many of you been hit with this one? Hey, thank you, Nick, for sending over that talk, the, the quotes. That's amazing. Thank you. Everything looks great. I need to review it and compare it to what I currently have. I, I don't remember exactly what I'm paying or whatever the case is. I'm going to review it this weekend and I'll get back to you. Mr. Customer, actually, I got a better, I got a better idea. Why don't you let me do some of the legwork? We have a cool magic trick. Let me send it to you. Pull your pages. I will do the analysis for you and show you the differences that you have. Take, let me take that off your plate. That's what I do. I do this every single day. Oh. But let me do the analysis and the comparison, show you the differences, and then we can send it over to you and you see what what works best for you. But let me do it for you. That's where it's become really effective. It's like so you don't get blown off. It's like because again, how many of you who have been here have said? Oh yeah, I, I'll look at it this weekend. You follow up on Monday at three o'clock because you want you don't want to beat down their door while they're drinking coffee. You go, hey, did you get a chance to take a look at those quotes? Ah oh, man, weekend got away from me. I'll, I'll look at it later this week. Take it away from them. Hey, Mr. Okay. Griffin, let me do it for you. I do this every day. So why don't you just you know you log in? Cool. Let me send it to you real quick. Here, go ahead. I'll wait. By the way, that's another thing we do. Here, I just sent you the link. I'll wait. Go ahead and do it real quick because it literally does come over in seconds. I can see it that fast. You'll get an email and the whole thing. So I'll be like, no, wait, go ahead and do it real quick. Just in case you have any hiccups, let me know. That's it. That's it. it ultimately, and, and I think that that's also one of the things, uh, of course, you want to try to do this on the phone. But even if not, right, like if people are too busy even to get on the phone, just text them the link and uh, they, they'll fill out at night. The next day you walk into the office, you're like, okay, great. We have a fully quotable lead, like ready to go, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, this is... Um... I'm trying to think of like other situations that we've had on it. Oh, by the way, I do want to say too, this is not, um, it's not to be used on every single person that you have. So there's an old expression that we like is like, if the only tool you have is a hammer, everything starts looking like a nail. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you need to slow down the process and get it for every single person. It's not something that we do on every client. We do it when it makes sense, right? So the situation like an objection yeah. or like yeah. something comes up or it's like, hey, I'm really, uh, I don't really, I have no idea what I currently have that's when we start talking about it. We don't say, hi, nice to meet you. You wanted a quote. Hey, yeah, let me help you out. Let me send this link. Um, the other time, I guess where we'll use it up front, it's like, hey, yeah, no, I'm about to head into a meeting. And, you know, I just wanted to come check you guys out, see what, see what we could do. It's like, hey, great. Let me get some basic information, but cool. I've also got a magic trick so you can push it over. So since we can't have that robust conversation and what coverage you have, this might allow me to, to get a more accurate quote up front. And then we can talk about some of the gaps that you have. Yeah. Do, do you already start, Nick, Nick, do you actually start um, looking at some of the data once it comes in? Like if you have somebody that's willing to stay on the phone, uh, like what's what's your process kind of after you get the, uh, uh, the the information through? Yeah. So a lot of times, to be honest, um, we've had it, um, you know, hey, I'll, let me take a look at everything, line everything up and I'll give you a call right back. So we've had those situations. I'm not saying that's the best and we're trying to keep people on the phone a little bit more. But generally speaking, by the way, they're very curious, especially when you say, hey, I'm going to take I've I very rarely had a hard time getting somebody back on the phone once they've done this because they know that it's going to, it's not, they don't have to be like, oh man, I have to sit there and think about everything I have. It's like, no, I, I have an accurate quote now. I have everything that you have. So I already know. Um, but you could, yeah, just, hey, let me pull this up. By the way, if you have um, a single monitor um, and you're, you're doing insurance in these days, God bless you. Um, you know, <laughs> since 1995, I'm sure that's been working out great. Um, we have three monitors, well, for the computer and two extra monitors. Um, three monitors, I think, is definitely direction you could go, but two monitors. So throw 
throw the window up and another one, then yeah, you can start filling out. It's like, hey, cool, let me do the home real quick. Hey, you've got this. Have you ever talked about this? Have you talked about your liability? Do you know what your deductibles are? Like, I have them here. I'm just curious of what your agent's gone over with you. Yeah, no, I, and, and, and Joseph, I think that that's uh, maybe a, a good uh, good segue to uh, what you guys are uh, kind of preaching right from from the Craig Wigan side on the liability. Uh, that, that, that's typically the, the route that you guys take, right? Uh, in, in terms of like, hey, uh, what, what are your liability limits look like? Yes, absolutely. So, you know, we frame the whole conversation around for everybody um, watching live or watching the recording. Most consumers don't know a lot about their insurance. They don't know what their deductibles are, what their coverages are. You know what they know? They know how much they pay. Who here on the call has the cheapest rates in town? Send me a chat right now. Send me a yes right now. Yes, question mark. Who's got the cheapest rates, y'all? <laughs> Cricket. Like they, they, there's, okay, no, Cecily. Hey, Cecily, what's up? Oh, Ryan. Ryan says yes. Ryan, you might be an independent. Oh, exactly. Ryan. We have we have some independents in the audience, guys. So be careful. Yeah, yeah. yeah hey, guys. Even even, even on that, I no independents. Yeah. You don't have the cheapest rate. You don't. I guarantee it. I absolutely guarantee it. I'm sure you search you search long enough, you can find a cheaper rate than what you have. I'll call that out. Yeah. There can only be one low cost provider by definition. So if that's not you, if you're not Walmart or Amazon, you damn well better add some value. Boom. So ooh, ooh. there Katie can only be that. one low cost provider. Yeah. Katie says no, but we have value. That's the thing. So if I were to put CWC sales process back in a nutshell and yeah, now I'm going to have to watch Austin Powers tonight, Nick. So thanks. I'm going to have to watch, <laughs> I haven't watched that in 15 years, but if I had to put CWC sales process in a nutshell, it's this, we pivot the conversation, not towards price, towards coverage and our advice. That's it. Having a tool like Canopy can really, really help find those gaps in coverage and really exploit them. It's not just about finding how much they pay. It's about making sure that they have the right policies, and the right coverages. We have hundreds and hundreds of training videos on this. We do live training every week. We have all of our scripts and top paths all right there on the platform, but that's our sales process in a nutshell. The one thing that sets all of you apart from your competition the absolute one thing that sets you apart from your competition is not your price. And ladies and gentlemen, it's also not your service. I'm, I'm sorry. It's not. Most of your customers won't even interact with you all this year. Now, I know you got a few customers that call every dang month because they like talking to their insurance agents and make the darn payments. And you want to tell them that it's 2023, but it's okay. You don't want to be mean to Mrs. Jones. You don't want to be mean to Mrs. Jones. But y'all, it's not your service. It's not, you know, any of that. What matters when somebody needs their insurance is the coverage. And that's what we make it all about in our sales process. And that's why we have LSPs, we have sales producers, we have uh, agents all across the country writing dozens and dozens more policies once they start using our training. And every single month we award 10 to 20 new producers all across the country with the CDBC Century Club Award. What that is, is an individual team member writing over 100 items in a single month. 100 items a single month by themselves because they're using our sales process and talk pass. I promise y'all it ain't because they're cheaper. It's because they're giving them better advice. That's what sets you apart from the competition is your advice. It's not the price. Boom. That's it. That's it, guys. And, and I think that that's, uh, and, and honestly, I, I really like that. We're, we're talking a lot about the value here, right? And I think that that's, one, like to, you, to your point, Nick, um, ultimately, Canopy Connect is, is, an, is a tool in the tool belt, right? Like it's not going to work for, for everyone. But I think if you're talking about like how you work with Canopy, it often comes to like, how, how does your sales process look like, right? And how do you embed it in the sales process? And how do you kind of lead with that value? So I think a lot of that is around, like what, what even what's in it for, what, what is it, what's in it for uh, the prospect that doesn't have to like go and look through their, uh, their archives in the weekend, like you're going to do it for them. You're going to be that, it, like the trusted advisor to them um, and actually like point out some of the, 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 the gaps in their coverage, right? So I think that that's the that that's the, the the starting point, I think, ultimately, because uh, we have a lot of agents that are uh, like uh, le that are coming to us uh, asking us for like how do we we pitch the canopy link? I think it it just starts with how do you run that sales process uh, and and what are the kind of the tidbits there? Um, so yeah, uh, Joseph, anything uh, any, anything else you want to uh, add on the on the talk track part? Um, so something else that we talked about in the first webinar with Kevin Spann like a couple months ago was how cool it is that you can have different links. You can have different links per team member. You can have different links even to give to your referral partners. Think how cool that is, y'all. 
if you're working with a mortgage lender or a realtor or a mortgage process or someone that's involved with helping other people, you can have a separate link that you can use just for that partner to yeah. easily have their customer become your customer by submitting their information securely online in a matter of seconds, uh, using QR codes, using QR codes to drive people to your link. Nick is awesome on social media. If you guys want to find Nick on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff, um, using QR codes is so cool. I was so yeah. upset last night. Y'all, Ted Lasso is over, y'all. Ted Lasso, man, it's over. I didn't uh, realize that sad, last night sad. was going to be the series finale. Now, I think there's going to be some spinoffs. But um, our main TV in our, in our main living room was being kind of wonky. So I was like, baby, let's go to bed to watch Ted Lasso. So we went to our bedroom. And I had to log into Apple TV on, on that TV. I can't remember the last time I logged into Apple TV. <laughs> it popped up a simple QR code. I was like, Boom. oh, okay. I highlight, opened my camera, highlighted it, clicked it, and it said, you want to log in? Yeah. Boom. I was watching Ted Lasso, and I cried, y'all. That was an amazing show. Not that a was true an Ted Lasso show. fan. No. You, no. You said, well, boom, I just didn't you know. Said, you would have you said, you said barbecue sauce right there. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> oh, barbecue sauce. Yes. <laughs> so, or believe. Man, when they, when they taped it back together... Almost cried. The sign. Never mind. I don't want to ruin it for you. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't spoil it. That's fine. Yeah, wow, wow. Guys, QR codes. QR codes. You can have your QR code on your business card, on direct mail pieces, on social media, in your email signatures, where people can quickly and easily and securely submit their information to you. It's yeah. amazing. Yep. I could go on and on about y'all's service. You know it more than me. But from what I know, it is a no-brainer for any agency that wants to close a few more deals. Yeah, absolutely. Can I can I hit a few of these questions I'm seeing in the chat? Because like again, I, I just love adding value to anybody who's spending their time listening to a little Chicago kid like me. Um, I saw the the ton of mailers, so I even learned something. Like I had a uh, the lead manager link on for my QR code that we were sending out for mailers. I think I'm going to try to test it with the link for here. Um, so yeah, that's actually fantastic. So we'll probably change that link up and do it. Um, so if you're sending out mailers, that actually sounds like a fantastic idea. I forgot about the mortgage lenders. I'm going to, I'll use that as a reason to reach out. Um, because again, even I'm learning on here because I'm listening to what you guys are saying. Um, can it obtain a letter of experience? It only obtains the documents that are actually out there right now. So if you need them to create a letter of experience, I guess it's possible it could show up in their file, but it's not going to like come up. It's going to show what's already in their file. Now it's fun because like one we did, we got a deck page from like 15 years ago, which was hilarious too because i was like why is this in here but hey i was like hey why don't you want to take a trip down memory lane of what insurance cost 15 years ago <laughs> um and then there was another question i want to hit with as well um before we got into the low rates it was like hey um i use a paid service called canopy i think okay so we have an expression in my agency the things you make simple the, the things you make like are no big deal the customer will make like no big deal the things you make a big deal the customer will make a big deal so if i go hey sort of maybe would you want to give me your date of birth they're going to be like, why? Why do you need that? But if I go, what's your date of birth? Or uh, I've heard it in our industry called like doctor talk. Doctor's not going to ask your permission to ask something, mm -hmm. right? They're just going to tell you like, hey, you need to do this. So when you say I use a paid service called Canopy where I send a link and click on it, log in your insurance and within 30 seconds, I think it's a little wordy in my personal opinion, my personal belief. Yep. And that's why we simplified it. Mr. Customer, I got a magic trick. It's the best way to describe it. It's a, it's a cool little thing. So it gets sent out. So here's what I need you to do. Log in with your carrier stuff. Cool. No, I'll wait. Go ahead and do it real quick. It's going to push your deck pages over to me. I'll be able to see what you have, and we can kind of make sure we can go from there. We go as simple, casual, nonchalant as possible because by making it, every time I've talked to one of my staff members and they give me the complaint like, oh, they won't fill it out or they feel weird about doing it, generally speaking, it's because they're making this big, big yeah. talk path to do it, and they the customer gets weirded out because they're like, you said – uh Anybody a 40-year-old virgin uh, fan, uh, the the movie, is like Kevin Hart's part where he's like, uh, you're using a lot of words. And since I didn't understand most of them, I'm going to take offense to them. So Check I this out. Though. First of all, you're throwing too many big words at me. Okay, now, because I don't understand them, I'm going to take them as disrespect. Mm -hmm. Watch your mouth and help me with the sale. That's what your customer's doing, right? They're yeah. just hearing a bunch of words, and they're like, I'm confused. So because I'm confused, the answer is no. But if you make it simple, hey, I know it's weird. It's different log in with your carriers it'll push up your deck page cool magic trick just go ahead and fill it out and do it almost every time we we see we Make see that we see that, that nick i think you're actually uh like that that's actually hitting the nail on the head like 
I think that over like the more you talk about this as something that's like super special or like you know like kind of funky like the, the more you explain the more people are going to question it right it's just like the like people are used to doing this when they like when Joseph is watching that lesson or when uh when they you know connect their bank accounts on a finance app you know like Robinhood Venmo right like people are used to this already um and I think for, because just because it's new for an insurance agent to use it it doesn't mean that the consumer is not already used to actually doing this so I think that that's a big uh a big one where if you make it sound like hey this is going to be the easiest way for me to get all the information I need to quote you here's the link okay go fill it out um and and that's going to get you so that's nick I, I think the one tweak i would make to your uh, part is like because they probably don't even know what a deck page is right just say hey it will just send me all the information i need to get your your yeah. right, to review yeah or i'll say it, sh it shows me your coverages yeah there's yeah. a question on here too it's like what if they don't provide the date of birth and the driver's license we totally didn't talk about that beforehand not, not, no i'm just kidding um if they just hit continue so when it asks for the date of birth and the driver's license if they don't want to fill that out just tell them to hit continue just, yep. just to continue, sir. And then I need your date of birth verbally. So here, here we go, guys. I'll, I'll actually, that's actually a good segue to kind of show because there are some people here that are not Canopy customers. So everybody's like, what, what kind of links are they talking about? This is how a Canopy Connect link looks like, right? So this will be customized with your agency logo, your agency branding. Again, we can also set this up for your referral partner. So we can actually have one uh, with a, a bank, with a mortgage, uh, a, a mortgage officer, with a, a realtor. Uh, and like the, it can customize with their uh, with their logo and with their text. Uh, so this is the link you'll send. Uh, they can open it on mobile. They can open it on desktop. Uh, and it's going to be the easiest way for you to, for them to send that in front of you. So they hit continue here. All they need to do is select the uh, uh, select the, uh, the 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 prospect here, the, the carrier here, uh, and then they just log in there, and you're uh, you're good to go. So let me just uh, show you guys here. And then after they do this, at this point, as long as the credentials are valid, we can get you the deck pages. We can get you uh, for commercial lines. I think there was a, a question about commercial earlier. We do this for commercial lines as well, where we can actually get you loss runs. Uh, we can get you all the, also the deck pages on the commercial side, all PNC. Um, and basically, uh, after they're done, the only optional step there is, is to add drivers and finish. So we'll basically show all the drivers. And uh, well, they'll be able to uh, like fill out the driver license date of birth if that's missing uh, on the uh, on the online account. So uh, that's that's what we're uh, we're talking about here. And Nick, you're just talking to to through this uh, on the phone, like, hey, just click on click at drivers and finish, and then having them follow uh, follow up here. Oh, Nick, you're uh, you're muted, I think. Yeah, sorry, I was going to type something and I didn't want to have that. So yeah, no, this, yeah, exactly. So yeah, this is what they, I was talking about. Yep, they can even add drivers. Uh, they can even add uh, the drivers here that are maybe not on the policies. Um, and if they have multiple carriers, they can click here. Um, so I'll, I'll I'll use this a quick uh, demo also just to, to kind of show the uh, the dashboard here and how the data looks like. Nick already said it. It's going to take literally seconds for the data to come in. Uh, we we have a whole dashboard. I won't like do a full product demo. Uh, happy to set up one on one time also to show you guys. But uh, like we we have a, a an overview here on the dashboard, so we can actually show you how many uh, like submissions we're actually uh, getting for your agency and how much like premium we're helping you helping you win. Um, you also see an overview of like the, some of the most recent links, so you can easily text them from here, email them, uh, making it super easy. The day even cooler on that too. Um, yep. when you go to the links, I know I'm jumping you ahead, but since you yep. just said about how much team usage, if you go to your links, yeah, you see on here, um, I'm wondering if it, it'll, it'll show it. Do you see the completed under the name? Yep. Yep. That's Very how good. I was able to tell which of my staff was actually using it and having a hard time with them, which wasn't, I just went on there and I was like, you haven't used it one, like, you have a problem with it? It's like, oh, well, everyone says they're not going to do it. Yep. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Right. So and again, it's not the idea that you need to have 75 of them. That would also probably be an indicator of a negative uh, talk path that you're having. It's just you should have some usage. I get I have to imagine it came up at some point that they have no idea what their what their coverage is. Yep. No. So and then and, and this is just an example for like a real estate agent, right? Like you can actually customize it with their logo uh, and with their with their name. Uh, just really quick for everyone here as well. Um, you have the QR codes, which Ray pointed out, high quality right now. So if you even want to print this on a on a banner, we have agents putting it on there, like, like a cover on their car, right? Uh, just to for people to scan it on on mailers. Um, you can text directly from here, uh, so you can ID like you can have those templates here. 
Nick can follow up for some of the, the, the ones that he's using. Uh, you can text directly from here. Uh, you can just need a phone number or contact uh, and it will pre-fill here. As you can see, we're using already some of that troll track here. Like, hey, we're using technology to streamline the process uh, and uh, to get you the best possible coverage at the best possible rate. So this is a default template. Uh, you can always uh, set up your own templates as well uh, with some of the, the specific messaging that uh, that Craig and the team uh, can uh, can help you guys with. Um, so from, from here... I uh, just wanted to show everyone just quickly what the, the data looks like. This is the State Farm account uh, that I just did with Clark. And there's some demo, demo data on the personal line side. Again, this also works on, on commercial. Here you see we have a home, an auto, and an umbrella. You get contact information, all the address information. Um, there was a question earlier also about uh, an easy links integration. So for some of the independents here, uh, we integrate directly into the raters uh, and for some of the, the captives also into agency MVP, uh, we get the we, we get the data and, and we can directly send it to uh, the systems that you guys are, are already using. Um, if, you do, if you dig in here, you'll see that the home, uh, you see premiums, effective dates. You get all the coverages, all the, the limits and deductibles. We even enrich the property data. So we get you uh, enriched property data uh, as part of that as well. Um, and then for the auto, you get like the, the VIN numbers, here, make model, uh, et cetera. You'll hear, here you get the driver info, uh, driving records. Uh, this comes straight from the carrier uh, and also the claims info. Uh, so you'll, you'll get everything in a nutshell and uh, the actual PDF deck pages as well. Uh, so, so Nick, good to hear that you, we even get them from 15 years back. I, I didn't even know that it was possible. So that's uh, that's awesome. Um, I think it was a glitch yeah. on that one, but yeah. <laughs> just, just just really quick. So uh, just so that, that folks know a little bit of, uh, of how this uh, how this looks like. Um, all right. Uh, any more questions? Because I haven't been keeping an eye on the on the on the Q and A here. Uh, let's uh, let's look into that. Um, I would say um, you guys can text out of this. I can say my office has, doesn't use the text feature on there. Um, we use, so we're here saying, I know there's some farmers agents and some independents on here, but we have a agency text. Um, yeah. That's where we send it through personally. Yep. So that yep. if they do call back or text back, it's directly to us. It's just what we use, but I guess to each their own. Yep. Um, and my text doesn't say magic trick. Um, I actually didn't edit any of those as I'm looking at it. So to fourth wall here, my uh, canopy is up on this side. I didn't change any of the words. Um, I just actually pitched them on the phone on it, and then I send the link, and I'm like, "Hey, I'll I'll hang out with you while you do it." So nice. Um, nice. That's the, I the, should the, change the, some of it. I haven't. His is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, no, that's uh, I think that that's a that's a good uh, uh, a good one to uh, uh, to 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 remember. I think ultimately, uh, like we we don't we're not going to force you to use our our texting or, or email. We just build it so that's. Folks that don't have that system yet, uh, they can easily do it. Uh, but I like, of course, if you have uh, your own agency texting system already set up, uh, definitely feel free to use that uh, and just copy the templates uh, that uh, that we use there. Um, so there's a question about like the uh, set monthly fee, I, and I'm not going to talk about fee. That's you guys's, but I wanted to share this because I was concerned about that as well. It's like, oh man, I think it was how many how many do you get a month, uh, Robert? Uh, so with the starter plan, that's the hundred dollars a month. That's fifty data, like fifty data pools a month. Yeah, guys, I I was like, man, we're gonna run by fifty pretty quickly. I've got seven, I've I've got six salespeople, not including myself. So seven and eight, if you include my office manager, like we're gonna blow by fifty real quick. We haven't, and quite frankly, even if we did, I know there's a nominal fee uh, to go above it. I'd pay it every single time. Um, and I have yeah. a lot, so I have a lot of sales staff. And again, if you're using it on every single quote, you're probably not doing this correctly. Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to address the fact that I thought I was like, oh man, I'm, I'm going to blow beyond this. They're great about advising on it. They're like, hey, why don't you start with the starter and then we can kind of see where you're at, especially in your couple of weeks of usage, you can see what your kind of trends are. I just thought I would blow by it. I, I haven't. So. Okay. Um, now, so and Nick, that, that. that actually uh, triggers the other question. So like you've been using us a couple of months now, your kind of point of view on it was like, and that's what we talk about a lot, of course, on the Kennedy sales side is like, hey, you just have to close a couple extra policies a, a year to to make up for it, right? Like, how, have you have you kind of like have you kind of seen the impact from from Canopy uh, in that regard to your sales already? Yeah, I mean, we've definitely made more sales off of it. Um, we've been able to approach people with confidence of exactly what they have. I'm like, no, Mister Grassman, I know exactly what you have. You have X, Y, and Z. So you, it it pretty much removes one of those uncertainty things. I'm a Jordan Belfort fan in the sense of like sales, the transference of like how sure they are, how, how confident they are. So um, of certainty, I think is the word actually. 
And so you're taking one of those uncertain things out. It's like, well, I, I don't know how this compares to what I have. I have it. I, I already looked at it. This is exactly what you have. So it kind of helps in that idea. Then we can just talk about, is my agency the right fit for you and the things that we do? Yeah. So nice. No, that's, uh, that, that's awesome. Um, Robert, can you talk for just a moment about commercial? We've had some chats and some Q and A's about commercial carriers available. Yeah. Um, I know commercial is really important for some agencies right now. If the personal lines are a bit tough, they yes. can maybe bit commercial. No, for sure. So uh, I can I, I can actually uh, like like show you guys a little bit. Uh, like w so, what what we're doing right now uh, on the uh, uh, on on the um, basically what we're doing on the personal line side, we can do that on commercial as well. Um, so everything that I just showed you, uh, they would log into their current commercial carrier. Uh, right now, we have close to 100 carriers already on the platform. Uh, so it means that we support close to 60% uh, already of the the market share for like multi parallel PNC. Uh, on commercial, um, and this like I think the biggest uh, takeaway for people here uh, on the commercial side, it's always uh, it, it's always tough to get the, the the loss runs right. Like I think that that's the the hardest part uh, about commercial. Um, we help you actually get those losses directly from the carrier, so you don't have to reach out to the carrier. Uh, you don't have to they, you don't have to ask the prospect to reach out to their broker uh, to say hey, like we need to get these loss runs. Uh, we can get them from the carrier. So they log in the same way. There's going to be a little difference because typically they might not have the account already set up. But again, you just have your talk check ready. Hey, let's get your account set up and I can get the data like with, uh, within minutes instead of having to wait for days. Uh, and then uh, you you get that data directly from, uh, from, from, from us. Uh, so you get deck pages. Uh, we support all lines. So you have like workers comp, Bob, GL, like commercial auto, uh, everything is going to come through. Um, and on top of that, you get the, the loss runs as well. So I think that that's the, the, the big one for, uh, for, for the agents, uh, on this call, if they're doing any commercial, uh, definitely check out our, our commercial, uh, product as well. So we've got more requests for your scripts, Nick, you don't mind just like sending your text templates to them and they can, you guys can blast them out to everybody. Okay. <laughs> I uh, see Robert. See Th th yeah. thanks, thanks, Thomas. Uh, it feels great to be a dad. Uh, we actually were just talking with Nick uh, earlier. So uh, just, uh, I, I don't know if folks realized, but I wasn't on the first uh, Craig Wiggins webinar because I was out on, on leave. Uh, we just had a baby uh, in uh, January 2nd. So yeah, five months tomorrow. Um, Kaya is doing great. Feels good. Uh, Nick uh, promised me that the sleep is going to come back soon. So <laughs> that's, I, that's I have. I have a little girl myself who's just under 10 months and right around five months is when she started sleeping through the night. So right around there. You get a few hiccups, but it's coming. Let's let's see. Let's see. He so slept I'm... like 12 hours last night. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hold me yeah no, it's it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's awesome. No, so I'm I'm just quickly going through the uh for, for the questions here, but I think we have uh... hey, let's let's hit this one from anonymous attendee in the QA, because I'm actually curious about this. Does the carrier know? If they're doing this through Canopy, like could that potentially trigger them to try to save the customer, or is it just look like the customer's just logging in? I'm just curious, and maybe yeah, can, no, that's that's can... exactly how uh, that, that's exactly how for for the carrier it looks like the the customer is logging in, which is ultimately the carrier can have something that they notify like hey your your prospect has downloaded their deck page or whatever automation they have, but typically uh, like nothing nothing will happen, right? Is, is this it's never up? come up with us. Yep, no, right. so. Yeah, no. So, and and that's that's what we hear across the board. You'll you'll hear the odd story of, of that happening, but uh, the typically, uh, like the moment that somebody is shopping, you know, they're they're shopping. It's not much you can do. Uh, like, of course, on commercial, it's it's going to be a bit different, which is why if you reach out to the carrier to to request the loss runs, like one, they're going to send the loss runs to the prospect, not to yourself. <laughs> Um, which is going to cause delay. It's going to take days, sometimes weeks. Uh, like just getting it like through us you'll have that info like right at your fingertips and the, the current broker is not going to block the market for you. Now, I like Ryan's suggestions, you know, using something like BombBomb or Loom to make video proposals. I love Loom. BombBomb is really cool too, but I just really love Loom, L-O-O-M, yeah. to make screencast videos. You can include your video of yourself or not and kind of going through the proposals, comparing, not apples for apples, ladies and gentlemen, but comparing how much better our policy is, yeah. how much better yes. your policy is in terms of coverages and deductibles and discounts and package options, all those different things. So Ryan has a good thing. Here's my point though, or real point of notification. 
make sure we're not wasting too much time on emails that might not get read or making videos that might not get watched. What we teach at CWC, get them on the phone and follow the CWC sales process and ask for their credit card info. Seal the deal. We're not paid to quote, ladies and gentlemen, we're paid to close, right? But yeah. I thought that was a neat little tip. He was chatting back with my, my girl, Cecily, my friend, Cecily, about videos. Nice. That's uh, that, that, that's that's a good point. I think that's uh, the use of video and like even proposal software. I think is is definitely picking up right uh, across the the industry. And I think it, it works for for some. Like some people might want to just what, like send a video. I hear a lot of agents also liking video because it's often a, a joint decision, right? Even if it's a like an, a home and auto, it's always a family decision. Uh, so you might be talking to the the, the husband, but the wife uh, will, will have the, the final say. So having that video to kind of talk that that second person through it is actually can be can be helpful. But ultimately, nothing beats having somebody on the phone and, and just closing them on the phone. So uh, good, good guys. Yeah, let's get the ball rolling. Let's get these coverages taken care of today. Today, yes. today, yes. <laughs> you know, we work with a lot of agencies all across the country. I personally work with about 50 agencies, including Cecily's agency and many others. What I typically find is producers really struggle to close more new business, y'all, because they're just matchy, matchy and focused on price. There's no sense of urgency to get their coverages fixed today. What I teach my agents to, to kind of imagine is that the customers or prospects they're talking to today are going to need their policies tomorrow. Do they have what they need to protect their income, to protect their home equity, to protect their assets? If they don't, we got to have that sense of urgency to get their coverages fixed today, not tomorrow, not next week, today. Boom. That's it. All right. I think we can uh, we can start wrapping up. Uh, any uh, final questions, guys? Put it in the in the Q and A. I can see if we still have time. Um, one, uh, one of the questions we got, uh, like, and I think another use case is just having it, uh, can it be connecting the email signature, uh, definitely helps. Like a lot of, uh, agents have a Calendly link already, or, uh, like any sort of meeting link, uh, having the link there, uh, saying, Hey, want to get a quick quote, just click this link. Um, and I think another, uh, good one there is in terms of the campaigns with cross sell, right? Like personal is, is hard right now. Rates are going up. If you have mono line customers say, Hey, let's see if we can get you some bundle discounts. Here's the link. Go go ahead and uh, and use it. So I'll just throw that out there in terms of ideas. But again, we have other webinars on that topic. So go go check on our uh, check out the webinars on our on our uh, on our page that, that Ray has put together. Um, but yeah, uh, would would really like to thank uh, Joseph, uh, Nick, both of you. Really appreciate it. Really great insights. Nick, no pressure, but we're we're gonna uh, wait for those uh, for, for those scripts uh, and then uh, send it out to everybody in the, on the webinar here and and people that are uh, asking for this on demand. Uh, yeah, of course. No, I'll get them. I'll get them sent over to you guys. And again, it's just funny too that the last time I watched this exact, well, similar webinar with Kevin, I took the plunge myself. So give it a try. Yeah, you you've spent worse money on marketing. So it's uh, I again with the math for us, I think it's like three or four deals, and you've paid for it. So we we've, we've already blown beyond that. So. All right, that's uh, that, that's awesome to hear. Well, th thanks, guys, uh, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll do another one soon.